Okay, so as we get started for today's lesson, I do have a mistake from yesterday that I need to fix, and I'm going to show y'all how it's going to look on the uh, quiz for tomorrow. Uh, so I read these backwards yesterday. Uh, well, actually, I read it this way, but I interpreted it a different way. I forgot that x equals the number was your horizontal and i mean your vertical and y equals number is your horizontal so this is over here this is actually what your um quiz will look like on the first three problems there'll be something like i don't know g of x equals 4x plus 7 over x minus 1 And you'll have to change it so it's something plus a number. And then, now, I have tried to do this, and I'll make sure it's. Uh, but this right here, I have put all the H values together, all the K values together, and I even put like a H and a K right there. Uh, normally wouldn't do that, but since I messed up, I'm trying to fix it. All right. Um, so things here from yesterday. Yeah, it's the opposite. Uh, like for instance, you know, the vertical asymptote we said was H. I actually had you do it as a horizontal, uh, yesterday. So well, you'll be okay. All right. If you can, hopefully people will actually read these. I know a lot of people have a hard time like reading directions. But, you know, they tell you, like, kind of what to put right there. Um, kind of hard to read it if you're trying to, like, hold hands with the person beside you. So. <laughs> I really wish people could hear what happens in my classroom. Okay. All right. So. Let's get started with today's lesson for Algebra 2. Thank you for all my subscribers. All right, so inverse variation. This can be like a couple of different things. I've actually heard it written or seen it written as A doesn't matter, A, K. It's just a constant of variation, okay? Now, the reason why it is actually covered in this lesson or this chapter unit, whatever you want to call, is because it is actually a rational. Because to graph it, you know, it's y equals something over x, okay? And that number can't be zero because why would we have anything enumerated being zero? That means everything's zero. Now, a lot of people also forget that you can do it like this. And this was like my favorite thing when this used to be in Algebra 1. Because to me, it's easier, okay? And we all like easier, okay? So, moving on. Now, so basically, if we're trying to find that constant of variation, K or A or whatever it's called, when you're given X and Y values, all you have to do is multiply them. And you should get the same number all the way through, and that's what that constant is. So let's see. 1 times 20, 20. 2 times 10, 20. 4 times 5, 20. So this is our K value, all right? Or A or whatever, constant variation, K. What if they're not the same? Yes, patience is a virtue. All right. Negative 28. Negative 28. Negative 28. Now, some of y'all will probably be like me. And if you actually read the directions, it says, hey, these are inverse variations. All you have to do is find the constant. I would just multiply one of them because they're, it already tells you that it's a constant, it's a inverse uh, variation. So I would actually do find the easiest one to multiply, and that's how I get my answer. Like, for instance, 
uh, on number three, I would just sit here and multiply this. This is negative 12. Well, that's my, that's my K. Okay, that's my constant right there because they're all going to be the same. Now, some people are super thorough and they will actually multiply all of these. Again, doesn't matter. Everybody's wired differently. And if you're old like me, you probably have rats that have chewed some of the wires and they short out from time to time. That's a joke. You can laugh. It's all right. All right. Now, and then six would be actually our constant of variation here. So it's really, you know, a lot of people try to make this very difficult. I, I don't understand why. Okay. It's, it makes zero sense to me. Uh, this actually used to be in the unit in Algebra 1 where we did um, direct variation and slope and all that kind of stuff. And if you came through the Algebra for Mastery program, that was unit four. And that's probably the one that like made people uh, repeat. I can actually show you on old tests and stuff, but we're not going to do that. Okay. All right. So finding missing values. I'm going to, I would set it up as XY equals XY. Okay. Very, very easy. I'm going to multiply 12 times 14 and set that equal to negative 24 times Y. Yeah, and all we have to do is just do math. So 12 times 14 is 168. Wow, negative seven equals Y. All right. Yeah, we're just looking for that missing value. Yeah. Used to, it'd be like, oh, you had to do this and plug it in. No. Let's shortcut it, okay? You're actually getting to a point that somebody had asked last block. They were asking, well, if this is going to be 6 times negative 10, and we know it's going to be divided by 3, that they would actually type it in their calculator just like that and get the answer. And that's actually the smartest way to do it. Okay. So if you type it in just like that, you'll actually get your answer. Okay. So y equals negative 20. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it is a little faster if you do it that way. And if you don't understand it that way, you could just do it the way we did on number seven. It doesn't matter. Um, that's actually, you know, finding a faster way to do things or an easier way to do things. I think I've told y'all that's the discipline of engineering. It's called industrial systems. Um, what I thought was hilarious is that UAH, they actually take a field trip to the uh, Lynchburg, Tennessee to see one of the oldest running uh, mass manufacturing plants. Uh, there. All right, what'd y'all get for number nine? Negative 12. Somebody said I got a rock. That's, uh, I need to see what calculator you're using. Mm-hmm. No, no, it's, no, I'm, I'm wrong all the time. I actually like it when y'all catch it when I'm wrong. I've done this for so long. I used to know when I was messing up on purpose. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I did have uh, one student one time. They were my fact checker. They always made sure I did the problem right. And it was very funny. As soon as, as soon as their hand went up, I'm like, all right, where'd I mess up? And they would tell me, and that'd be it. Let's 
So nine times negative six over a tree. Yep. All right, so this is x equals, because this right here, I'm going to be dividing by negative six. Uh, let's see, that's negative 40. I don't need a calculator for this one. I can actually do this one in my head. Yep. It's actually not that bad. This is, somebody said, wow, this is actually pretty easy. And I'm like, yeah, I love it. Uh, when we do come back after Thanksgiving break, uh, we are going to uh, look at some stuff that, again, used to be in Algebra 1, but now it's in Algebra 2, and we're going to um, – what now? No, that's why we're having a quiz just on this tomorrow. That's a daily grade. I think I said that already. We could actually rewind the the, the – the video and see but it's open notes your the, your notes are on school uh, schoology youtube i mean it's yeah uh and we're actually that's where we're kind of ending tomorrow before thanksgiving break and then starting after thanksgiving break we'll start with something new this material will not be on that test yeah i would not do that do y'all honestly do y'all think i'm going to remember to include that stuff on a test if it was covered before no i'm not okay we all know that i am not that person i'm not that guy i'm not that guy i think we can all honestly agree that you know mr jeffries is highly flawed and that's why we love him okay Ooh, this one's easy tree oh my face is in the way and yes i do make that noise every time i move if you actually watch some of the videos and i know some y'all don't shun the non-believer <laughs> All right, so now, basically, in a nutshell, that's what we're doing. That's the whole lesson today. Again, it's kind of short and sweet. I'm going to let you all try the back. We're going to go over it, and then we'll go from there. Okay, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell. Good stuff, good things. Roll tight.